welcome to the uh, FX Predator powerful FX chart patterns and um, this is the 13 most powerful chart patterns which you'll find in the FX market uh, they're not limited to the FX market you can find them in just about any market if you are new to the FX Predator training we offer a free uh, beginner intro course to the FX market um, what it basically covers is everything that you need to become a trader um, the same info cost me around two thousand dollars to learn back in uh, 1995 sorry 2005 so if you want to um, grab the course if you're new to forex we cover some uh, japanese charts as well candlestick patterns which will supplement and be great for those of you that are interested in looking uh, further into the fx market so uh, we've discussed so far in our series the ascending triangles which was the first one then descending double bottom double top flags head and shoulders pennants rectangle symmetrical triangle and now the triple bottom um, the triple bottom is just like we discussed the uh, double bottom basically but this time instead of it actually touching twice what you now have is the uh, third touch which is often more powerful than um, the double bottom so it's a bullish reversal candlestick um, actually it's not a candlestick pattern it's a price pattern so uh, just to edit this for all of you guys out there it's a price pattern not a candlestick pattern and this is basically what it looks like so we have price coming down it tests uh, the support three times it goes up down up down and the third one is a shoot through so the primary difference between the triple bottom and the inverse head and shoulders pattern is that the three troughs are formed at about the same support and resistance level in the form of case So example of a triple bottom. So this is the uh, the live version of it. You know I don't really like to use um, a lot of these charts mainly because obviously your classical textbook examples of charts because a lot of the times you know the markets don't offer picture perfect trading. Um, occasionally you see them, um, but they're not textbook examples. So if we have a look here. Price comes down, tests the uh, support level, rallies back up. Once support has usually been tested twice, you often find a stock or um, currency pair moving straight up. Um, if it does test a third time, as you can see here, there's tremendous um, buying pressure at these points. But the way I know that is because whenever you have shadows to the downside, it's showing that there's um, buying pressure, which is why the Japanese never really use green or red candlestick patterns because the problem is when you look at red you think to immediately okay red is bad I'm gonna sell or well, depending on what your trading style but the problem is with that is that then you start getting analysis paralysis where you start looking at the red candlestick patterns thinking you know it's down so it's got to go down for example if we were at the right edge of this chart and you saw this red pattern here you could think to yourself oh no you know um, this is now gonna be your resistance and um, this thing is going to go down but one clue which would have led you to go long for one we had a double bottom we had a triple bottom we had the longer shadow to the downside and then the uh, fx pair the great british pound um, moved to the upside now that could be news right and another thing gaps are very very rare in the fx market so um, that's basically the um, triple bottom and then we have the triple top. The top is a rare top reversal pattern and it's usually found in uptrends. The trading pattern is uh, characterized by three tops that are almost equal in height and a trend line connecting the lows and the triple top. The pattern is confirmed on a, a sustained break of support. Stops are usually placed above the most recent level of resistance or the third top. So as you can see, I mean, it's the exact opposite of the previous um, pattern we looked at, except now this is happening in a uptrend and often means that a larger reversal is going to take um, place to the downside so as you can see uh, this forex pair or the stock moved all the way up made a high came back down went back up to resistance came back down third time you know anytime a stock can't break a resistance second or third time uh, there's not going to be a fourth time very rarely unless it's channeling um, 
but usually you see these triple tops triple bottoms uh, in severe uptrends or severe downtrends so let's have a look at our real life example as you can see touch one touch two and there we go peak one two so that would be a triple top it's touched twice uh, sorry twice at the bottom three at the top and then we move uh, sharply down to the downside and as again once you see these long tails once you've gone sh uh, short um, it's a clear indication that uh, it's time now to actually um, go along the market because the buyers are back in control and that confirmation there of that green candle would have been a perfect entry point so that's all for the uh, triple top triple bottom any questions send them through to me and then I can answer them for you and uh, be sure to download the FX um, Forex Predator course because that course uh, covers some important info for those that are new to Forex and don't want to spend any money going into the market so the uh, Forex Predator course is a, a great course for those that have no understanding or idea of what the Forex market is and you can grab that from um, our website yeah or just click the link below and you'll be taken to it